Good morning. This morning we're going to be doing some bell peppers and onions mixed in with our hash brown potatoes. Now I generally use one potato per person. This is a mighty huge potato so I'm just going to go ahead and use the whole potato. There's no sense in wasting any. So in order to compensate for the size of this potato I used a little extra onion and bell pepper. Ordinarily, I use a slice that isn't too terribly thick of onion and about a fourth of a bell pepper, which is in the neighborhood of where I am today, but I used a little larger onion and a little larger bell pepper. And uh, I shred my potatoes on a shredder. Some people have a food processor, and they like to use it. If you have that, that's fine. Uh, I don't have a food processor, so I do it by hand, the old-fashioned way. And what I do is I get about halfway through my potato. All right, I want to make sure that my skillet is turned on and warm. So I put it on the next to the highest notch to warm it up. I've already added about... Oh, I'd say about two and a half to three tablespoons of oil. Uh, I want to cover the bottom. I like using iron skillets because they heat universally. Uh, there's not so much the way of hot spots. I don't like electric stoves simply because they do provide hot spots more than a gas stove does. And I'm on an electric stove. So, the iron skillet actually does a much better job of cooking, on, especially on an electric stove. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and shred the potato. I'm going to finish this up, and we'll be right back. Okay, thanks for sticking around. Uh, I've chopped up my potato, or shredded it is the way I guess it should be put. And you probably noticed that I didn't peel my potato. I don't see the purpose in it. Uh, in the first place, potato skin actually has more minerals in it than the regular potato itself. So I like to eat the skins as well. And as long as you've washed your potato to remove any dirt or pesticides or any of that kind of thing, they're, they're clean and edible, just like the rest of the potato is. Now, I take that and I put it into cold water and allow the potatoes to set for a few minutes in cold water. I'll move those off to the side. Uh, I've already chopped up my onions and bell peppers. Now, I use green bell peppers. You can use yellow, gold, uh, red, whatever bell pepper you choose. Uh, I just opted for green. It's fine. But the other colors add a little bit of uh, creativity if you like. Uh, I also chopped up my onion. All I did was just dice them. Uh, I've got my skillet on and running. It should be warm enough. First thing I'm going to do is put my onions and bell peppers in. They take a little longer to cook than does the uh, potato. So we're going to start them out in the skillet, which is already warm. And we cook those. Now, you'll notice that I keep moving them around in the skillet, which I will do for a while here to keep them from burning. Okay, I want to move them around. I don't want them to lay just on one side. I want them to cook thoroughly. And what I'm basically looking for here is a little bit of caramelization on the onions. Uh, the bell peppers will cook right about the same length of time. The onions will. They'll come out nice and tender. Uh, still got a little bit of a chew to them, but not too stiff. Uh, I'll go ahead and cook those for a few minutes. And when I'm ready to put the potatoes in, I'll be back. Okay, I've had my onions and bell peppers cooking on top of the stove here for, oh, I'd say three or four minutes. 
uh, slowly. I don't have the temperature up real high. It's, it's next to the highest mark. I want them to brown just a little bit, and I want my potatoes crispy. Uh, those have cooked well enough. Now it's time to remove the potatoes from the water. And what I do is I just pour them through a sieve. Okay, and get as much of the water off of them as I can before I put them in my oil. Uh, water and oil don't mix very well. So it does have a tendency to uh, make it sizzle pretty good. And you also have to squeeze the potatoes a little bit through your sieve just to get as much water out of them as possible. And then you can start adding them to your potatoes and uh, or your carrots bell peppers and onions. Okay. And you'll see this is a lot of potato here. That was only one potato. Usually one potato per person is about right. But that was such a large potato. I can probably feed three people off of it. Okay. And what I do now, I get the potatoes and onions and bell peppers and I start mixing them because I want the flavor to run throughout. Now, if you want to put some pepper on your potatoes, I do, and this is a fine time to put some pepper on. Since this is such a large potato, I'm using quite a bit of pepper. There's no reason to salt them right now because potatoes absorb so much salt so easily that it's really kind of a waste. You really won't taste it when you're eating it. So if you want to salt them, salt them after you've cooked them. Now, I want my potatoes to soften up before they start getting crisp. So what I'm going to do is put a cover on them and we're going to let them cook for several minutes here because since this is such a large amount of potato we will uh, have to let them cook a little longer. I'll get right back with you. Okay, my potatoes have been cooking for a short time. About two or three minutes. Notice they're starting to brown nicely, okay, which is basically what I'm looking for. I stir them, okay, try and get as much turned over as I can so that the parts that are not touching the skillet will now touch the skillet. I try to level them off, and I keep cooking them for a while. Potatoes need to cook for a little while. During this process, I was also able to put together the rest of my breakfast. I'm doing some biscuits and gravy and sausage this morning. Uh, but we'll concentrate on that another time. Right now we're doing hash browns, which is a trick in itself. I'm going to pause again for a few minutes so the potatoes cook a little more, and I'll get back with you. Okay, my potatoes have been cooking for several minutes now with a lid on. The potatoes are basically squishy and soft, but now I want to firm them up a little bit and brown them, make them a little bit crispier. So I remove the lid, which held in a lot of moisture, and I get rid of it for now. Uh, I'm also a firm believer in cleaning as you go, and during the time that my potatoes were cooking, I was able to clean up all the dishes, my shredder, everything I've used so far this morning. And now with the lid off, I will stir them up again a good time or two. Make sure that all parts of them are touching the skillet as much as possible. I'll have to flip them again a little bit. Okay. And we let them cook a little while so that they brown some. And here's a little secret I add, a little bit of garlic salt, okay? It isn't a whole lot. You just want to put a touch in, uh, just to 
add a little bit of flavor. And it goes well with potatoes and carrots and bell peppers, or onions and bell peppers. Excuse me. And I will continue to turn my hash browns a little bit here and there until they start to form a crust. Uh, once I get them spread out to where they are going to form a crust, which is what I'm doing right now, I'm spreading them out as evenly as possible in the skillet. My heat is on at about the second to the highest notch. That's fine. I don't want to burn them. I just want to crisp them up. So we let them cook like this for a few minutes, and I will get back to you. Now, before I let them crisp up too much, I have taken the potatoes that are cooking and separated them so that they are now in two orders uh, for two people to eat for breakfast. There's more than enough potatoes there for two people, but that's what I had from one potato. They're very large potatoes. Uh, I prefer a smaller potato, but you get what you get sometimes. Uh, anyway, I let them go ahead and cook, uh, keeping them at least somewhat loosened from the skillet. Not that they stick. They don't very often stick in an iron skillet. But you want to try and keep them in a chunk, uh, so to speak, so that it's easier to maneuver them around. And, and kind of keep an eye on them and see what the crust looks like on the bottom. You do want a crispy crust. Now at this point, I'd like to hurry them up just a little bit. I don't want to let them burn. I have to be careful here. But I'm going to raise the heat to the highest notch. Now from now on, I'm going to monitor them constantly so that they do not burn. It's very easy to let them burn once they've gotten to this point. I'll be back with you in just a moment. Okay, they've been cooking for a few more minutes. And I see they're fairly solid. It's time to flip them. Okay, now they are crispy on the bottom. Not yet burned, but still pretty crispy. And I flip them over so that I can let them cook a little on the other side. I flip a little piece out of them. I'm going to go ahead and taste them. Mmm, very good. I did turn my skillet down just a little bit because I didn't want them to burn. They are not burned. They are dark and crispy. And like I say, I like mine crispy, on the outside at least. They're going to be, since there's so many potatoes in here, they're still going to be a little soft on the inside, which is fine. And I think they've probably been cooking long enough to remove them and put them on a plate. Okay. There you have it. Hash brown potatoes crispy on the outside, but they are not burned as dark as they look. It isn't really burned, it's just dark. Uh, they're crispy on the outside, <clears throat> soft and mushy on the inside. They taste great. They do need a little salt. And I'm going to put the rest of my breakfast together, and I'll be back. Okay, my biscuits and gravy are ready, my sausage is there, my hash browns are there, and I have a breakfast ready to go. It took about 15 to 20 minutes, and probably took that long because I had so much of an amount of potatoes. Uh, although the dicing and uh, the chopping and, and shredding of the potatoes takes a little longer, it should take no more than 15 or 20 minutes to fix breakfast. Uh, breakfast is usually a very simple meal, and I'm going to go eat. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe.
and I'll be back with more videos later.